So why have you joined this event here today? I have joined this event here to make my voice heard so that the governments, especially the governments in Africa, must take a stand and see to it that the, the capitalism pay for what they have done to our people. They came in with big promises. Our governments don't reconsider us in any decision they make. When it comes to things that affect us, the people, and the, especially the things that has uh, 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 something to do with climate change, they co don't consider we as rule women or we people on the ground. It's a decision they take on their own and after they have taken the decision, you'll only see people coming to the villages or the small towns and coming to ask the people how they feel. The people will express themselves how they feel about that thing. They'll go back and after two or three years, you will see that thing that you have opposed or the thing that you didn't want the government to build in your town. You will see that mine or whatever they have done, that thing will come up. What's your experience of climate change? Is it something that's happening now? Climate change has, has especially affected us a lot because we are dying. Our, our animals are dying, our fields are dying. We can't reap the fruits that we have reaped in the past. Especially we that are small, uh, like uh, vegetable growers. We, we don't get the same profits that we had, had in the past because of this climate change. And what would you say to people living in rich countries like the United States and the United Kingdom who don't believe in climate change? I know they don't believe in it, but they have to come to Africa to experience the word climate change. And after, especially the ones that are in decision-making positions, they have to come here and live with us in the rural areas to go back to the people and to tell them, to, to, to make that, the people aware that there is something like climate change, especially in Africa. Can you tell us why you've joined these women here today? Yeah, as we are rural women, so we want climate change to stop. So we want Kyoto Protocol to be signed. This is why we're here. We are representing other women who are not able to come here. So. The impacts of climate change affects the whole world. It doesn't affect only the Africans or the Americans and so on. Yeah. Anna, we've finally got some joy at this conference. What's happening here? So um, we've just had a general assembly and we're just about to continue it. Every day this week we've been having a, like an occupation general assembly. Uh, the conference of the people we've been calling it. And today we had a very special one because we had the ambassadors from the small island states come down uh, and speak to us. And then now we've got the rural women, um, rural women from all over southern Africa. There's going to be 700 of them when they all actually turn up. So they're going to be making a big noise and they're singing and they're joyful. And they're going to sit down now and tell us a little bit about why they're here. And then we're going to just make our voices heard here in this space. The conference center is just there. Uh, this is the conference of the people and we're going to be heard today. <laughs> There will be unprecedented surges of there floods. Will, there, there will be, be unprecedented surges of floods. floods. Droughts. Droughts. Our food security will be compromised. Our food security will be compromised. Our water security. Our water security. Our survivability. Our survivability. And so we thank each and every one of you here today. And so we thank each and every one of you here today for being our conscience. For being our conscience. And we'll continue to be your voice. And we'll continue to be your voice inside those halls. Inside and the negotiating halls. room. And the negotiating room. We represent. We represent the people of our country. The people of our country. And that's each and every one of you here today. And that's each and every one of you here and today. And I want to give a big shout out. And I want to give a big shout out to all of you. To all of you. And say thank you. And say thank for you for your steadfastness. For your steadfastness. For your faithfulness. For your faithfulness. For your for your conviction. For your conviction. That convicts us. That convicts us. To do our job properly. To do our job properly. For the people. For the people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi,
everyone. Hi all the youth from everywhere. Hi all the youth from everywhere. I want to send a message to the city of Durban. I want to send a message to the city of Durban. You have heard the message from the islands. You have heard the message from the islands. From the Caribbean. From the Caribbean. From the Pacific. From the Pacific. And I come from the Indian Ocean. And I come from the Indian Ocean. The same message, the same message applies to the port city of Durban. Applies to the port city of Durban. If we go under, if we go under, Durban goes under. Durban goes under. I live on the beachfront. I live on the beachfront. And from what I see from my hotel window, and from what I see from my hotel window, when the storm surges come. When the storm surges come to cover our islands, to cover our islands, they will cover, they will the, cover lower the low lying parts of Durban. The low lying parts of Durban. So the conference in Durban, so the conference in Durban cannot, cannot condemn us, cannot condemn to us doom to doom without condemning itself. Without condemning itself. So our message. So our message is a message of all the people of Durban. Is the message of all the people of Durban. During COP17. During COP17. You are all small islanders. You are all small islanders. So don't save us. So don't save us. Save yourselves. Save yourselves. We're one and the same. We're one and the same. Thank you. Thank you. Why, have you, why are you attending this event today? Why is this an important issue for you? Well, all environmental issues are very, very important. And with this climate change, 
It means we have to take our lives seriously and take matters seriously. And that's why I'm here. I'm from Botswana. And how is climate change impacting you in Botswana? Well, it does affect us, but not to that extent because we don't have any uh, fume emitting mines. We do have mines in Botswana, but the pollution they create is not that big. And climate change affects us because, as you know, Botswana is a semi-desert. Two-thirds of the country is semi-desert. We have very erratic rains. And, you know, change in climate, we used to have rains, now it means we are almost drought-stricken all year round. And how does that impact you and your family? It does impact a lot because I can't grow enough crops to feed my family. Then I live in poverty. Then not just me, other families too. Because most of the households in Botswana are female-led. They are led by women. And women, you know, being uh, the backbone of the country, have to fend for their families. And now with the climate change, we don't know, we are doomed. And what would you say to people living in rich countries who don't believe in climate change? Well, I would ask them, even though I know it doesn't make any impact to them, to try and not pollute our countries with what they produce in their countries and come and deposit here. They should find elsewhere, but not in our countries. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Jamie Hem, we spoke to you yesterday inside the conference. Why have you joined these women out here today? Well, it's amazing to see this energy out here. And you know, they were singing in the background, watch out for the power of women, which is a good message for these negotiators. I think finally, after four or five days of negotiations, there's really a lot of energy on the outside. Tomorrow, over 20,000 people will be in the streets marching. We need this type of pressure to actually make progress here in Durban. So it's great to see and a total honor to be out here with these folks. And what's the message you're hearing from these women? A lot a lot of it is we're feeling the impacts of climate change right now, but we're not going to sit by and be victims. We're mobilizing, we're taking action, we're creating solutions. We expect to see the same level of leadership, or actually get a little bit of leadership out of the politicians that are inside the talks. Jamie, thanks very much for speaking to us. What do you want to achieve today? Today I think it's about us coming together and making our voices heard. So it's about joining together and the joy we get as a movement from being together. But it's also about being so loud that they can't not hear us in there. And I think when 700 of them arrive, that might be the case. And already the ambassadors who were out here are going back into the rooms to negotiate and they will take with them our messages and our voices of everyone that's here. You've been tracking these uh, conferences for a long time. You've also been involved in the processes outside. Where do you see the solutions coming? The solutions are coming from here, from the people here, uh, from the women over there, from all of us who are sitting here today discussing it, and we need to infect that conference centre with those solutions, because they are not getting to those solutions by themselves. They have been corrupted by business and by corporations, and we have to take that out and put our voices in and make our representatives speak for us in there, and then the solutions will come. And since you've been following these talks, do you see that process happening? Not at any great speed. <laughs> um, we need it to happen quicker, that is definitely for sure. Um, we get incremental progress, but incremental progress isn't enough. We need to up the urgency. I'm sure these women can speak better to the urgency of climate change right now. We're in Southern Africa. Um, this is their story and we're going to listen to it. Thank you. First, my first question is what's happening here today? Today is the day that the women are celebrating their day and today is the day that all smallholder farmers are gathering here to share the idea on the smart uh, climate change. Yes. What, what is your experience of climate change? Why are you passionate about it? it my experience, I've seen all the smallholder farmers here that are gathered here. We are talking one voice that there's, there, there's something has to be done on the change of, of, the, of, the, change of the climate change. So we have the, there are techniques that we have to implement it as farmers. And there's an there's a intervention that the, 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 the elders have to, to do so that they help the farmers more, especially the rural farmers. And there's certainly women here raising their voice behind you. Why are you keen to work with other women? If there's no women, there's no development. There's no agriculture, no deal, no agriculture, no deal. That's the, the word for today, yes. And what would you like to achieve today? What would you like to come out of today? 
Mm, today, uh, I can be glad that if today all the stakeholders can come together to to sign to sign the agreement on the climate change. Yes. And do you have a message for people inside the UN Conference Centre here? Mm, my message is that we are play, as smallholder farmers, we are paying all the donor funds to fund the smallholder farmers. Yes, so that they quick start, yes, from being smallholder farmers to commercial farmers. What would you say to somebody living in a rich country who doesn't believe that climate change is happening? Now is the time for those people who are very rich to consider smallholder farmers to, to understand that without, without changing things we are going nowhere. Yes, something has to be done to change. Um, what's, what's your experience of climate change? Are you experiencing it now? Yes, there's a, 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 a great change now. Because now, if you see now, there's no rain, there are floods, and everything is just messed up. <laughs> Yeah.
Oh, 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 oh,